From the air, the forests of the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo look beautiful, endless and pristine. The forest harbors a rich and mostly undocumented biodiversity of plants, animals, birds and reptiles. However, the canopy of the forest also prevents you from seeing what's going on inside. Beneath the forest canopy, we know a terrible drama is unfolding. During the last two decades, it is feared the Grower's gorilla population has decreased by at least half and is now listed as one of the 25 most endangered primates in the world. The remaining Grower's gorillas, which are the least studied of the four gorilla subspecies, can only be found in this area of Congo, a place where political instability, mining, poaching and poor economic conditions are endemic. The Fossi Fund has stepped in to help provide long-term solutions. Our goal in Congo is to protect the endangered Grower's gorillas and to help preserve the forest habitat and other wildlife. A permanent research and conservation field station was set up in 2012 in the heart of the Grower's Gorillas range near the village of Nkuba. The forest in this area is not part of a national park. It is a community managed reserve. Therefore, there are no national park rangers patrolling to protect the forest or enforce the law. Most of our field staff is from nearby villages and many are former hunters, now conservationists. We have two teams permanently tracking gorillas, alternating every other week. It's a five to six hour walk to reach the first area where the nearest gorilla groups range. And the deeper you go into the forest, the thinner the trails become. Once the trails disappear, staff must rely on animal tracks or make a new path. To study the gorillas and other wildlife, gorilla trackers set up temporary camps in the forest. Our teams survey the forest to see how many animals and different species are living there. They look for gorillas' nests to determine where the gorillas slept the night before and how many individuals are in a group. Walking around the forest also gives us critical information on the kind of threats gorillas face. During the past three years, field staff have walked several thousands of miles in the forest as they completed a detailed survey of the area. They have found multiple signs of animal presence, including approximately 150 gorillas, an exciting find. And camera traps have solidified evidence of an abundant wildlife population within our more than 270 square mile study area. This is more than eight times the size of Manhattan. Soon, the Fossey Fund plans to set up a permanent camp deep in the forest. That way, we can ensure uninterrupted tracking and increase our efforts to help save these most endangered gorilla groups and the other rich biodiversity of the Congo forests. For more information, go to gorillafund.org.